Hello everyone, Big Scary back here again. Um, and we're gonna have to touch on some more of these protests. There's a big UFC coming up, and I will definitely, I'll definitely get to that. But this is, this is just, this is, this, this is too big. So uh, where did where did we leave it off last time? D uh, the last episode, I think I was just touching on uh, when the protests first first started. Um, and. And needless to say, it had, it had, um, they'd gotten out of hand, and gotten out of hand from both sides. Um, there was uh, initially uh, so much anger, and and yeah, I mean that's when when all that anger is is being unleashed. It's sometimes it's gonna it's gonna go the wrong way, and gonna start rioting and 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 actually like looting and stuff. Um, which I, I when it came to burning down a target or another large corporation eh, I mean they're insured I can't I can't get too upset about that or the the police station especially I certainly can't get upset about that um, but once you start burning down uh, private private or, or small businesses that's I mean these people that's all they have this is they're not insured a lot of them so so obviously that's wrong and even though I mean there's there's plenty there's there was plenty of videos of 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 undercover cops or or CIA or whatever they were um um starting star, uh, instigating some of these some of these situations and then I mean there's also all these conspiracies uh what it, uh, I think the the Republicans are saying it's 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 Antifa funded by George Soros. Um, let me see, I'm I'm no fan of George Soros. Um, if, if if you need to see why you you shouldn't be a fan of his, go go watch his Mike Wallace interview. Uh, he's definitely not a good guy. But it, also he's not he's not the the person who's behind everything, and and that seems to be like the that seems to be the thing that that Alex Jones types and 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 the rest of the right wing is always saying. Uh, but most of most of those conspiracies that that uh, put George Soros and the Rothschilds behind everything, most of them are rooted in anti-Semitism. I mean, anytime they're talking about globalism and everything like that, eh, those are those are anti-Semitic tropes. So. I mean that is what it is, but I mean it's not just it's not just the Republicans because the, I mean, the Democrats are saying that uh, the Russians are behind this. Uh, so so the Russians are the ones who who've been killing black men in the streets. Um, eh, nah, I I don't think so. This is, I mean there's there's definitely people people out there who who aren't out there to for the right reasons and get their voices to be heard. They're just out there to. To try to profit in a in a in a situation like this, um, I mean, ba basically they're vulture capitalists the same way the same way large corporations are. I mean, so so yes, they're they they're in the wrong. Um, but I just really thought that after I I definitely saw I definitely saw the rioting and and the looting, but I also saw more police brutality. I mean that I think I've seen and I mean that I've ever seen in in one in a in a couple day period. I mean they they're just acting like like doom squads. I mean it, it, I mean and if you really want to if if you want to argue that oh well they got a hard job when they they can't tell the 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 peaceful protesters from the violent ones um I mean that's kind of their job. I mean, so if they're not able to do their job, then I mean they shouldn't be working there. But okay, let's let's okay. It's hard to tell who are the peaceful protesters and who are the looters. Uh, well, what else they were doing is they were also brutalizing the press, the press, the press who were clearly visibly uh, had had had. had Valid identification stating that they they had press pr credentials, um, clearly visible, and 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 still that meant nothing. And no, I'm not talking about about independent media, because I mean theoretically nowadays anyone can have a, a camera phone and say they're independent media. Uh, but no, I'm not even talking about. I'm talking about mainstream. Uh, a CNN reporter was was arrested on live television while doing while reporting. 
um, he clearly wasn't breaking any laws. Uh, then, then there were uh, other. They were they were firing the mace pellets at 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 all kinds of journalists. Uh, who's that? Ali Vecchi or whatever his name is on MSNBC hit him several times. Uh, in and and some of these reporters are still. They're pointing. They've got the cameras and they're pointing the guns directly at them in the cameras. And they're still like, oh, what are they pointing their guns at? They still, as they, they're seeing this all play out, they still can't even believe it. I mean, one, one journalist got an eye knocked out by, by this. I mean, so, so do these, so is it, is it that, are they that poor at their jobs that they're unable to, to tell the difference between good guys and bad guys? I mean, that, so I, I thought that journalists were supposedly supposed to be the good guys in the, in these situations. I mean, this isn't, this stuff doesn't happen in wartime. I mean, they, I, the, in the fact that we have people who are defending this now, I, I don't know why I just figured that after seeing all this, there's going to be no way that anyone can deny how brutal the police are. And what do I see? I see people still posting garbage about about that 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 people are just protesting for no reason and and all this rioting is wrong as the police are out there brutalizing them um i i can't think i mean there's a i mean these people are you're a bootlicker you are a bootlicker if if you if you can only see the error in in the citizens but don't see any error in in the police officers who are paid to do these jobs they are pay, they they've forgotten what it even I mean now they talk about oh their their number one job is to make it home at night no that's not their number one job their number one job is to serve and protect that's why it says it on their car I guess it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't be as catchy if they were riding around uh, with with slogans like oh I'm I'm making sure I get home tonight I guess they can't I guess they can't do that so. Eh. It just it just makes no sense to me how how now we're 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 still we're still div I just figured that this was I, I guess I'm delusional sometimes and I, I have too much optimism that I it's like oh this has got to be the thing that that's definitely going to get the rest of people to see and no it, it's it's like we we live in a we live in a a, a, a shallow how society. Um, I've never seen the movie because I can't stand Jack Black, but I know the premise of the movie. And uh, so, yeah, so half the population is like, wow, yeah, that, wow, she's so beautiful. Uh, in this case, it's, it's, the, it's the police, um, police who, are, who are brutalizing people and they're seeing no issue with it. Or, or, it, could be, or it could be Trump or, or whoever. Um, it, and and then the the rest of the people are like see that that she's morbidly obese and and in this case it would be the the that they're actually out there brutalizing people and, and and people seeing what's really happening and it just doesn't it doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense that I don't know what's going to have to happen. I mean, we're we're literally. I mean, are are we going to go to another civil war over this? I mean, this is. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's it's clear as day. I just thought for sure that I mean, we're seeing in real time on on live television the police brutalizing people. Whether whether they're they're children, they're macing children, they're they're beating up they're beating up the elderly, they're attacking journalists. I mean, what more do you need to see that there are no good cops? I mean, or, or did all the good cops? They didn't. They didn't get sent out on the because there there were no good cops patrolling any of any of those protests. So did all the good cops stay home during during this whole ordeal? I mean, is that is that is that what the is that what the thing is now? Is that what the excuse is that there were just the the good cops got told to stay home because we didn't need them out in the in the field that day? I mean, because I didn't see any good cops out there, and even and even uh, there were a couple things where the the cops were. Were kneeling in protest with people and stuff, but then 40 minutes later they were macing and arresting the the same people they were kneeling with. Or, or it it just make they and then and then for a for a photo op in front of a church, um, they they maced 
They may, so Trump could have a photo op in front of a church. They they maced all the protesters that were nearby to make way for him, just so he could go up there and 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 hold the Bible upside down and act like and and act like he was a, a real Christian and that and that was that was so important to him that 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 he be filmed in in front of a, a church. Places that he, before he became president, he'd never gone near a church before. And if you think that's not true, then you obviously had neither. I mean, anyone who <laughs> refers to, to 2 Corinthians, I mean, come on. Come on now. Um, it just, this is, I, I, I don't know, I don't know where we go from here. Like, every time I, I want to be optimistic and think that this is, well, this is, this is, this is really it. This is going to change everything for the better. I just don't know that it will. I, I, it's not. It, it's it's seeming like so many people that that I thought were were intelligent and that I thought had empathy could, would would see that that maybe that I mean because it first thing maybe the Rodney King uh, beating that was the the first time on on live TV people were actually that there was a recording of the police beating an unarmed black man and brutalizing him and uh, I mean I was young at the time so I don't remember I don't remember there being so many people saying that oh that's the police were just doing their job and and now look I mean I'm sure there were there had to be looking at how society is but but I mean it's just it's insane that no matter how blatant how blatant it is that I mean the the brutalization or uh, it, just half the population won't see it. Just it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what we do from here. I mean, everyone. I think everyone needs to to whether it whether everyone has a has a job they could be doing now. Whether whether it be post protesting and. If if you don't want to do that, uh, there there's plenty of funds out there to to donate for 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 the bail for for some of these um, arrested protesters, um, or or maybe you just maybe you need to if I mean maybe just talking may, just talking to to your fellow Americans and and trying to get them to to see like I, I don't know how much I don't know, think I, I guess some of these people. If their eyes aren't already open, maybe they never will be, but I don't know. We can't, I just feel like we can't give up because, I mean, we all live in this country together. And, I mean, there's only, as time goes on, there's only more and more of us and and we're getting more and more divided. Um, so, I don't know. I, 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 I'd like to be optimistic, but it's, it's just things aren't looking good and... I don't, I don't know what it's going to take. I really don't know what it's going to take. Um, but, so, yeah, that's, uh, I guess I'll, I'll just end it like that. And You um, can find us on YouTube, uh, at Trauma Television. Find us on Facebook at Trauma Television. Um, find us on uh, Facebook at Big Scary. Uh, and find us at Twitter, uh, Big Scary. Um, and Martin Luther King said, The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. Mm -hmm.